There are many ways to customize your HTML editor dashboard. This panel offers 8 options that we can enable or disable with the checkboxes. Let's see the first setting. By default, the rich text editor on the left and the source code editor on the right are linked together and when you change one of them, the other one changes with it. If I disable this feature, then I can manually update the other side clicking the arrows that have just shown up in the middle. I'm editing the right side and updating the left side with the changes I made. Now I'm editing the visual document and updating the source code. The second setting. By default the two sides scroll together if you scroll just one of the editors. I can turn this off, which will allow the scroll bars to slide individually. We can activate full screen editors if we want to concentrate on the page and we don't need the settings. Come back to the normal screen opening the minimize panel. Check this box to dock the editors. The panels will slide below, while the editors always stay on top. The dark theme is useful while editing content for a website with dark background and light text. When the spell check is active, the misspelled English words will be highlighted if the cursor is in the rich text editor. By default, the enter key opens a new paragraph in the rich text editor. You can change this to a simple line break with this option. Allow or remove invalid HTML tags. This is now turned off, which means that it allows me to change this span tag to anything. When I edit the left side and the right side updates, I can still see my bat tag. If I activate the setting and I try to edit the left side again, the bat tag disappears. I hope you'll find these editor settings useful. In the next video, I'm going to present how to use the Find and Replace tool.